STD Friday is manana. That's tomorrow for those of you who is not Espanola like me. That's what's up. Here we go. I can't accept it right now. I can't accept it. And now to a crime alert and a family devastated after a 22-year-old woman was stabbed and killed. Police say it was a brutal and violent death and the family says they know who did it. Local 10 News anchor Sanella Sabovic is live in Southwest Miami-Dade with the story. Sanella. Nicole, as you mentioned, that victim so young, only 22 years old. She was in this neighborhood along Southwest 214th Street. Is 22 really young? Like, is 22 like so, so young? When we got mamas 12 and 13 years old, like, shouldn't that be like so-so or is that like three so-sos? I'm just, I'm, I'm just asking. In Southwest Miami-Dade Sunday night and her family tells me she was involved in some type of dispute with a woman that lived in that home that you see there. And they believe that that woman is responsible for her fatal stabbing. Her laugh, her talking, the jokes. The, the clothing, like how she loved my kids, like they were her kids. Just everything, like, was not to miss. A family in mourning. 22 years, she didn't get the chance to live her life. She didn't get a chance to have a child. She didn't get a chance to have her own place. She didn't get a chance, period. Quintisha Parrish's family is trying to come to terms with her sudden and tragic passing. She was stabbed Sunday night at this home along Southwest 214th Street. Her family says she was not on good terms with her friend's sister. They say that woman was also in the home and believe Parrish was set up. If you knew your sister didn't like my child and she was feeling some type of way that she was going to hurt her, you being her friend and that being your sister and you want to keep peace, you wouldn't have took her over there. After Parrish was stabbed, she was raised to a nearby hospital where she died. The person responsible for the attack remains on the run. You really need to turn yourself in. How could you, how could you sleep knowing you took someone's life for foolishness? I just want to... Oh, hold on. Oh, oh, oh. You say 22 is middle age, uh-huh, and, and at least three so-sos? Oh, all right, all right, cool. cool. Justice. I want her family to feel how my family feels. Shout out to Latanya for the five dollar donation through the PayPal. I appreciate you, sugar. And the family did provide me the name of the person they believe is responsible for their loved one's death. I have forwarded this information to the Miami Dade Police Department. I'm still waiting on confirmation as to if this person is a person of interest or if this woman has been arrested. And once we get that information, we'll pass it along to you for now. That's the very latest here out of Southwest Miami Dade. Sanella Sabovic, Local 10 News. Sanella Sabovic, I think that's what she said. Look here. So she go over a friend girl house with a girl sister. I ain't cool with her. They beefing and shit. You know what I'm saying? I think she was sought up. I'm I'm under that belief. That baby ain't been caught yet, as they had them said. But 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 she stabbed him. Now we watch where law enforcement had them pop the baby out here for trying to attempt it in motion stabbed and people was out here saying we don't even know if she was gonna kill her people get stabbed don't always die and they would be absolutely correct but she was 15 16. Mm -hmm. yeah i know this family wish someone was there that motherfucker who shot, uh, who who stabbed that twenty-two year. I promise you that. I can't accept it right now. I think I know them. I honestly think I know them because I believe that this is off, off of one nineteenth, off one nineteenth and two fourteenth, some shit like that right now. Yeah, sound like close to the village. And now to a crime alert and a family devastated after a twenty-two year old woman was stabbed and. That is so sad. These babies is losing their life left and right. Ain't no marching. Good thing about it, though. They told law enforcement, or they told the lady who she is, though. The person of interest, God damn it, they got the name, and she relayed that to law enforcement. Now, what we call that snitching? 
Is that snitching or you doing your damn due diligence because somebody just took Kenfo? We ain't supposed... I be trying to tell y'all, everybody know what's going on out here in the goddamn street. We need to get the lights up, y'all. We need to get the lights up. If you like to support the machine, we got a cash out. The, the dollar sign, Willie Williams Show. We also got a PayPal link down in the description. Appreciate the support. Here we go. Killed. Police say it was a brutal and violent death, and the family says they know who did it. Local 10 News anchor Sonal. They know who did it, and I'm glad that they gave up the person's name. The whole community should be an outrage. But I saw some people that's down in Miami that live in that area, which is the ghouls area, where I'm from. They was upset about the Ohio police shooting that baby who had that shank. I ain't seen no posts about this young lady right here on my Facebook. The same people from the same area where she lost her life at was on social medias talking about he shouldn't have shot her. He could have tackled him. He could have tased him. Not saying that officer saved her life, but <laughs> I ain't tripping. So I'm glad that they able to go it on and put the word out there. And I also like what that um, the young lady said at the end. Say, and what would you like to happen? Hold on. Shout out to Asher for the $5 super chat. Say, 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 Y-P-S-I-L. <laughs> I don't know what that. YouTube. I don't know what that's saying. But me in here. That's what's up. I appreciate you for being here, though. Yourself in. How could you, how could you sleep knowing you took someone's life for foolishness? I just want justice. I want her family to feel how my family feels. I like that. I like that. Typically, people, we are afraid to really speak what we feeling after someone has taken our loved ones. Because in my mind, I'm an eye for an eye type of guy. That's that's just my thing. I'm an eye for an eye. I don't need people marching and all that suck shit. I don't need that fly shit. Pimping gonna take care of. That's that's in my mind. I'm gonna need somebody to suffer around this motherfucker. I, damn, damn jail. Damn, you going to the resort. I'm just saying that, that that's that's just me. And I think that I will be able to say that on on national TV. You gonna leave Earth real shortly. Say hey, sugar. Dallas, Texas is watching. I appreciate y'all for being here. I showed sure enough do. I hope that um y'all find the young baby who had them stab y'all peoples and incarcerate them. Put them on vacation and keep showing up the court and all that fly shit right there. You know what I'm saying? You got to keep showing up the court. Keep showing up the court. Don't miss no court dates. Just saying something to you now.